How's it going guys? I started off by editing music videos with Adobe Premiere and After Effects. Once I started to implement some 3D tools into my workflow, it opened up a whole new world of things I can incorporate into my videos. So today I'm gonna show you five ways you can use the open source 3D software Blender for your music videos. And side note, the 3D software you use does not matter. Choose the software you like. Most of them feature the same tools and methods I'm going to show you in this video. So as always, if you do enjoy the content, consider leaving a like, comment down below anything you'd like to see next, and subscribe to stay up to date to all the information we're putting out weekly. By the way, if you're looking for any plugins, presets, extensions to save you time and create cool effects, my digital asset store is at the top of the description. Number one, create a music visualizer. I'm going to start off by showing you how to make a 3D object react to music. You can use this to create dedicated music visualizers or incorporate audio reacting elements into your full length music video scenes. Step one, you need to add in a 3D object. You can find a ton of these online. Just look up sites like TurboSquid, CG Trader, and you wanna download either an OBJ, an FBX, or a project file for whatever 3D software you're using. So go up to file and import that in. I'm gonna go ahead and add some textures here. Next, I'm going to go to the modifiers tab and add a displace modifier. We can click to add a new texture and then go down to the texture tab to customize the type of distortion you want. You have all these little presets that are gonna change the texture. If you wanna see that better, go back to your modifiers and bump up the strength and you'll see what that can look like once you fully crank up the distortion. And now let's go ahead and link it to our music. We're gonna select our object. I'm gonna switch our view from our timeline to our graph editor. I'm gonna click on my modifiers and just right click on the strength and click insert keyframe. Now we can see this pop up in our graph editor. I'm gonna to go to the little key tab and I'm gonna click convert audio to F curve. So now you can see our audio here, all the waveforms going up and down. If you click play, you should see your object react with the music. The only issue is the amplitude is a little bit light, so there's not a lot going on in terms of the way it's transforming. To change this, we're gonna go ahead and click N and we're gonna to go to the modifiers tab and we're gonna add in an envelope modifier. You wanna to go to the start of the song and click add control point. And then under that control point, you wanna grab the Y axis value and start cranking that up a bit more until you see the waveforms get larger. Next, you can take that min and max value and just try and make larger waveforms so that it's amplifying at a larger rate. I set it at 0.3 for the min and 0.4 for the max. If you want it to distort even more, grab that Y value and crank it some more. If you guys go back to the textures tab and change the type and mess with the values, you can get some crazy combinations so that you'll never run out of ideas for creating custom visualizers. Number two, transfer After Effects camera data to Blender. This is a great way to add 3D objects in After Effects for free. A lot of people use Element 3D, which is a great plugin for After Effects, but to compare, Element 3D is $100 and it's pretty limited. Blender is free and gives you a vast amount of tools and possibilities. So to track your Blender 3D objects, into After Effects, here's what you do. You wanna go into After Effects, right click on it, and track your footage. Once the track is complete, you can hover over where you'd like to place a 3D object in the scene, right click and create a new track solid. Now you can click on this link in the description. It's gonna give you a full guide on these steps in case you guys forget. First off, you need to download this script. So go ahead and download it. You can install it in After Effects by going up to File, Scripts, install or you can also just click run to fire up the script you guys can choose to export the full composition or just the work area i'm going to do just the work area and i'm going to save it it's going to give you this little json file here which we can bring into blender to do that you need to install a blender add-on so go back to that link in the description that shows you the steps install that blender add-on once you download it just go to file preferences go to the add-on sections and click import. Make sure you check that on in your add-ons. And now we can go to file, import, and see our After Effects camera data as an import option. So select that JSON data you save from After Effects. And just like that, we now have our 3D camera and our track solids within After Effects. So what does that really mean? Well, first off, what we can do is take our footage from After Effects and see it in Blender. Click the camera button to switch to the camera view and select the large plane that's in front of you. You can create a new material for this and then go to your shader editor. You wanna click Shift A and add in an image texture node and plug that into the emission. In that image texture node, you can open up the footage that you were originally working with in After Effects. Just crank up the frame so that you can actually play back the full video and check on auto refresh. So that's optional if you guys wanna see the footage while you're compositing. If not, you can just turn off this plane for now and worry about the smaller plane in the background. This is actually the track solid we set up earlier within After Effects. And the purpose of it is to serve as a reference point for where we wanna place our 3D objects in 3D space. 
So just grab your 3D object you want to composite into your scene. In my case, I already have the visualizer in this project, so I'll just select it, click G to move it over, and click S to scale it up. And then I'll go to my camera view to see what it looks like. We can hide the track solid for now. If you guys want to match up the camera animation with a specific part of the song, go ahead and click that little animation object under your 3D camera and move those camera keyframes or wherever in the song you want the animation to be. Then just go to your output tab and set up a new folder for where you want to render this out. In the project settings, just make sure under film you have transparent checked on and then go to render animation. Back in After Effects, you guys can right click in your project bin, go to import multiple files and just find that folder where you exported out all of your animations. Go ahead and import it as footage and then click done. And there you go. For some reason, After Effects always imports at 30 frames per second for your image sequence. Just right click on the image sequence and go to interpret footage and set the frame rate to whatever your footage that you tracked frame rate was. In my case, it was 25 frames per second. From here, you can mask, you can color correct, you can composite, you can do whatever you want. I added a bit of blur. This is just a quick rundown of adding a 3D object to your scene, but if you really wanted to, you could go through the full VFX pipeline and composite in a lot more realistic objects by matching the lighting, by matching the geometry of your scene, adding HDRIs, et cetera, et cetera. Number three is create a 3D character. I have two beginner tutorials that are a great place to start with this. This process is as complex as you want it to be. For example, if you want to work on easy mode, you can download any 3D character you find online. Tons of them are free. You can alter it in Blender. You can add your materials. And then if you want to animate it, you can even just export it put it in a site called Mixamo. I have full tutorials on this, and there's a giant library of animations you can apply to your model. So going from nothing to an animated 3D model can take you a couple of minutes if you take that route. Now, if you wanna get a bit more in depth, I have another great tutorial talking about how you can sculpt a cartoon character like this. I even provide a base mesh template, so you only really are changing the face, hair, and clothes to your liking. If you wanna go even crazier with it, you can try and create realistic looking humans. And of course, like all the other steps, there's so many different ways to do this. There's some experts out there like this guy that can sculpt a photo real human face from scratch just starting from the default blender cube. Now for beginners or for people who don't want to sink a bunch of time into this, an easy workaround I recommend is by using the free software Daz. You get a bunch of free character models and clothes to start, and there's a giant marketplace of assets to choose from. You can export your 3D characters into Blender or whatever other 3D software you want using their dedicated bridging scripts. All in all, it makes the process extremely easy and it feels like you're playing a video game instead of doing a bunch of grueling work. If you wanna learn more about this, I recommend you check out my four ways to make a 3D character videos fast tutorial that I put out last year. It goes over a bunch of different methods. Number four, make a 3D environment or scene. 3D gives you the possibility to take whatever you envision in your head and bring it to life. You can use this to create 3D scenes that match the lyrics or tone of the music video. Here's some 3D scenes I made in Cinema 4D for this little Dirk X Gunna video I worked on a while back. Mixing 3D into your music videos can create some really cool shots, or alternatively, you can composite 3D objects and characters into your footage using that AE camera transfer script I showed you before. You can even composite entire backgrounds and environments for your green screen music videos so you have full control over the narrative and environment of the visuals. A lot of you guys watching this probably already know him, but if you don't, I recommend you follow Ian Hubert. He has some amazing videos, especially talking about using Blender with green screen. He's created some amazing sci-fi shorts fully just using Blender, Eevee, and green screen, and they look phenomenal. So check out his green screen video for some really cool tricks that can help you. Number five is create unique intro text. With the ability to shade, sculpt, and now with the addition of geometry nodes in Blender, you have all the tools needed to create some awesome 3D text for your videos. You can create awesome intro titles. You can create unique designs for clothing or merch, or you can animate 3D logos. Mix into that the possibility of particle systems, physics, and other stylistic effects. You have a tool set that can really create some amazing graphics. I recommend you check out this Chrome text tutorial. This will teach you the basics of making materials, lighting your text, and designing your font. If you wanna get more in depth, you can check out this guy, Neng Huo. He recently made a tutorial talking about geometry nodes mixed with sculpting in Blender to create some really unique looking graphics. I hope this video gave you some useful insight on how you can use 3D softwares for your music videos. If you love editing and you want to take the next step as to what you can really do, I recommend you start messing around with some of those tools that I mentioned. It's a great way to up your skill set. If you're doing this for money, it's a great way to charge more for certain projects because you can provide certain unique things, not just music videos, 
you can create visualizers, you can create merch designs, you can create logos, et cetera, et cetera. There's infinite possibility. That's what I love about the camera editing 3D space. There's so many different lanes and life paths you can take. You can always be evolving and stumbling across something new. So if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like. Like I said at the beginning, comment down below, subscribe if you guys did enjoy. We're gonna be talking a bunch more about After Effects Premiere 3D softwares like Blender, uh, even Unreal Engine. I have some awesome ideas uh, for that software, which is another free software. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting, and I'll see you guys in the next one.